For over 30 years, my country, El Salvador, has been plagued by violence. In the 70s and 80s, it was a civil war, fought between the opposition forces who called themselves the FMLN and the army of the right-wing government. Archbishop Oscar Romero, a champion of the people, who is now a candidate for sainthood, was an early casualty, assassinated on March 24, 1980, as he celebrated Mass. Monseñor, vos que estás en el cielo, Echame una manita en nuestra tierra Aquí los pájaros no cantan Los árboles son menos cada día Y los ríos son lágrimas Que vienen desde arriba Death squads, most rogue army units, roam the countryside Brutally murdering those thought to be sympathetic to the FMLN including school children. People disappeared, never to be heard from again. According to the United Nations, over 75,000 of my people were killed. In 1992, the war finally ended with a negotiated settlement between the government and the FMLN. Unfortunately, the violence did not end. Violence became a primary means of political power. As it spread throughout our society, not only politically prominent people were threatened, Ordinary citizens, especially if they sought to reform the society or to protect the poor, were equally at risk. Gilberto Soto was born in El Salvador and became an American citizen. He was working for the Teamsters Union in New Jersey, organizing truck drivers who worked the shipyard, moving goods from ships to warehouse. He returned to Central America to meet with transport unions and celebrate his 50th birthday with his mother and sister. De repente nosotros oímos los disparos, dos, tres disparos, eh, los escuchamos y sí, yo me levanté inmediatamente a ver, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasaba? Y, pero sí mi mamá escuchó en ese momento que él, que él me gritó, me llamó a mí y me dijo, me dijo, Aralí, me matan. Three men came to Gilberto's mother's home, where he had been born and raised, and shot him dead right outside. Within days, absent any investigation, El Salvador's Minister of the Interior called the press conference and declared it was nothing but a common crime. Y, y de hecho yo sabía de que no fue un, un asalto, ¿verdad? No fue por robarle porque su cartera, o sea, eso él, en el momento que a él que él vio a los hombres con, con las pistolas armados, mm -hmm. él estiró su cartera, él pensó que era que querían asaltarlo, querían robarle. Mm -hmm. Obviamente no era eso lo que ellos querían, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando yo salí a verlo a, 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 verlo a él, qué había pasado, en la cartera de él estaba ahí en el puesto. Entonces, no, era, no fue por robarle, no fue un asalto. Claro. ¿verdad? Entonces y dije yo, pero, pero ¿y por qué? Yo le, yo le decía a Frank, o sea, o sea, ¿quién pudo haber hecho eso? ¿Por qué? Si él no tenía enemigos aquí. But Gilberto Soto may have made some enemies on his return to his native land. The unions in El Salvador's port of Acajutla were disbanded by the government as the port was privatized in the months following 9-11. But as San Salvador Labor Support Group put out the word that this American trade union leader, Gilberto Soto, was hoping to speak with truck drivers working at the port. Recuerdo que él manifestaba que era, se estaba muy contento, muy feliz de que era una oportunidad de eh, trabajar en lo que él siempre había, de, en lo que él siempre había hecho su mejor esfuerzo como líder sindical, pero relacionado con El Salvador. Apparently, that was enough to get Gilberto Soto killed. Throughout the last century, international mining corporations have sought to exploit El Salvador's rich gold reserves. Outside the little village of San Sebastián, the Commerce Corporation has extracted gold worth tens of millions of dollars. Runoff from the mines has poisoned the San Sebastián River, the source of water for the village turning it an ugly red and green. And the Commerce Corporation has left behind huge bats of cyanide, which may eventually leach out and do even more damage. 
So with international support, a local anti-mining movement has sprung up in El Salvador. One of the leaders of this movement was Marcelo Rivera. Like Gilberto Soto, he paid for his activism with his life. Friends and family found his body at the bottom of a well. How is it that this little country, the smallest in Central America, has been subject to such violence? How did it not stop with the end of the Civil War? How and why has it persisted? Mauricio Funes, representing the FMLN, called the assassinations of Gilberto Soto and Marcelo Rivera emblematic of the struggle for human rights and justice in El Salvador. But even under his leadership, these murders have not been solved. In some cases, the triggermen were arrested, but the investigations stopped short of finding the masterminds, the intellectual authors of the crimes, as we say in our country. Beatrice Lamani de Carrillo, former ombudswoman of the Human Rights Office, constitutionally mandated by the peace accords. Eh, pero claramente tomamos el caso de Gilberto que, como un asunto muy profundo para la justicia internacional y nacional. Yo le tengo un cariño particular a él, sí. aunque nunca lo haya conocido en vida, pero lo mantengo vivo aunque no esté vivo. Y creo que él ha significado mucho para el esfuerzo de democracia y de los procesos de respeto a los derechos laborales, sobre todo sindicales, de nuestra gente, sobre todo en Centroamérica. Y es lastimoso que no haya un seguimiento correcto, un interés particular para encontrar los mandantes de este abominable crimen. Zaira Navas, former Inspector General of the National Civilian Police. Las, las motivaciones que las autoridades daban respecto a qué es lo que había producido el asesinato, ellos hablaban de crimen común, y nosotros considerábamos que habían más elementos y que no se había dado una investigación o no se había seguido y acabado la línea de investigación de un crimen de naturaleza política. El Salvador has suffered under a culture of violence and impunity for 33 years. How much longer? Juntemos todas las manos. Hay mucho que trabajar. Vamos con la injusticia, también la comodidad, para romper el silencio y celebrar la verdad. Es necesario, es urgente, que cese la impunidad.